Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. In this video, I'd like to show you one of the best reviewed commentaries on the book of Genesis. Before I do that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel to see videos on Bible commentaries, study Bibles, and other resources that help people understand Scripture. This Genesis commentary is found in the New American Commentary series and it is written by scholar Kenneth Matthews. Matthews wrote these two volumes from 1995 to 1995 to 1989 to 1995. It is considered one of the best commentaries on Genesis, and I would describe it as the best commentary on Genesis that does not have an academic leaning, meaning it doesn't have in-depth discussions on the original language or the most recent work in biblical scholarship in relation to Genesis. So I would say it's the best reviewed non-academic commentary on Genesis. So what would be the top academic, academically inclined commentaries on Genesis, we could say? I just want to show you a couple. Uh, one is the Victor Hamilton commentary on Genesis in the NICOT series. The other is Genesis in the Word series by Gordon Wenham. Now, um, those two commentaries by Wenham and Hamilton, if you just did a collective survey of various uh, reviewers and academic journals, you'll probably find that Hamilton and Wenham are rated a little bit higher than Matthews, but you will also probably read that their target audience of those two commentaries is is partially pastors, but it's partially uh, professors and scholars as well. And so their discussions lean a little bit more academic. For pastors, however, it would be Matthew's commentary that would rate uh, number one. So partially it depends on your purpose for using a commentary. Partly it depends on what your comfort level is with reading discussions on Hebrew and recent biblical scholarship. But I think a lot of pastors, even if they're able to do that, they might want a commentary that's more straight to the point for their for their purposes, for their ministry purposes, in which case Matthew's is, is probably the highest rated in that regard. As you can see on the cover here, the translation that's utilized in this particular series is the New International Version. While pastors would benefit from this uh, particular commentary series and this particular volume on Genesis, I think Sunday school teachers would do okay with it. Bible study leaders and small group leaders, um, they would do fine with it too. I would say about all three of those groups, if, if the person is new to reading Bible commentaries and resources on the Bible, Perhaps this isn't, wouldn't be the best uh, book to go to, but if someone can use, uh, utilize a mid-level, um, intermediate-level uh, commentary uh, that doesn't focus on the scholarship or on the Hebrew, then I think that this, this commentary would be fine for them. The NIV text itself is in bold letters, and then the commentary passage is divided up uh, verse by verse. So in this particular case, this is Genesis 3. There's a couple of introductory paragraphs to the passage 3, 14 through 21. And there's a paragraph on chapter 3, verse 14. Actually, there's four or five paragraphs on verse 14. And then, chap and then verse 15, Genesis 3, 15. There's 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> uh, 10. So of course, Genesis 3.15 is a little bit, um, there's a little bit more to it. So there's 10 paragraphs devoted to Genesis uh, 3.15 um, and talking about the ancient serpent being crushed and so forth. So there's 10 paragraphs on that particular passage, but for other ones, there's, there's more like uh, five or six. So there's quite a bit of depth. Uh, to these commentaries. Um, as you can tell, they're not of equal size. This covers Genesis 1 through 1126, which is a natural division um, in Genesis, um, and then Genesis 1127 through 5026. So the origin of the universe and sin and the world and, and so forth and humanity in this particular section of Genesis. And then we have the patriarchal narratives in this section. So that explains um, why there's a difference in size. Now, a great thing about the New American Commentary series for this size of commentary um, and being hardback as well, it's one of the most affordable commentary. So this 
this one, this one's quite a bit smaller. This this might be in the twenty twenty two dollar range would be my guess at the moment, and this might be in the twenty five twenty eight dollar range somewhere around there. Obviously, that vary that can vary day by day, but generally that's that's the price range, which makes these really affordable commentaries. Other two volume uh, commentary sets on the Book of Genesis might cost thirty or forty dollars a piece, um, and so that's one of the benefits of this particular series. The 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 NAC series, the NAC series, was um, originally produced by uh, Southern Baptist Church. They're kind of sponsored the series, and so uh, that's the theological orientation of of the authors. Now that said, um, it's it's not heavy in this particular in these volumes on Genesis. Uh, you know, it might be heavy in some New Testament books where there's a lot of ap application toward the church or just on certain passages. But um, I think with these particular volumes, um, if you're just looking for an evangelical commentary on Genesis, this this one really hits the mark. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't turn it down um, or turn away from it because Matthews has a Baptist background or because the NAC series was put out by um, a Baptist publisher. So I don't think those would be good reasons for um, not utilizing the series. And and most people who have been using commentaries for a while are used to... Um, are are used to the idea that even if someone's not in their particular theological camp or um, denomination, they can still be very helpful in explaining exegesis and maybe even some theology, although there might be some disagreement on secondary matters. So um, I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding more about this uh, very well-reviewed commentary on the book of Genesis in the next series. I'll put a link to it down in the uh, information box below this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope it's been helpful and I thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com.